What's the deal? The deal is that the deal we have going on is not working. And then we ordered some supporter uh, from Amazon. Oh, the support packets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but oh. they suck. They, they don't work. I mean, <laughs> your shoes. Yeah, I have a couple extra pairs of shoes. A couple? Shoes. I only buy them when I'm on sale, you know. So when they go on sale. Let's fix this. Mess yeah, so. Here. So Joad ended up making those chef supports from scratch and he just bought a few and that was the solution. So this is how far we got so I have an empty box I have a few things that I can put in there and then probably we're going to continue the shelf later on and we have the floor that we're going to use in the bathroom and filling out the space where we remove the wall in the laundry room so that's just thing for his neck and um, lower back and then over here so we got all the wood in this area except this one this is a shelf <laughs> but uh, mainly we filling up this wall with the firewood and in this corner we have this cabinet we're going to put this on the wall we're going to secure it there this is an extra material this is for the bathroom this is from the kitchen so we have some leftover from the countertop and this is what we're going to use in the bathroom and over here I've got all the sports stuff I mean not all of them some of them is still scattered around I need to organize them and picnic blanket when we're gonna go somewhere Ugh. and this one is empty steaming some vegetables for dinner and Joad barbecued some sausages Round town in a city of gold When I was struck by luck Cause I found you Sitting all alone Looking down your phone Like a restless soul The wind that stroked your hair Left your scent in the air And the sun was almost acting As a spotlight just for you Making flowers bloom Days are made for you You make me are gonna be cute so once we can hide the wires it's gonna look better I'm just playing around that so we can see what will work and what's not okay let's switch things uh, that screw has to go in there a little bit deeper I don't, I don't wanna lean that way because it just doesn't okay let, let me zoom on that screw it's like <laughs> I, I can take it out <laughs> oh my god oh that's fine, nobody's going to look up there. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, so see how much light. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, quite a bit of light. Yeah, that's alone in the morning, it's gonna be perfect. I mean, the steam is gonna be nice when it goes up in the lamp. <laughs> well, I don't care, it looks cozy.
ez az egész csak de van. Van például egy csipőd, hogy a sok farkát aztán ide elmondtam. Például ki nézem. Ki nézem, hogy nézem. Ott kulja már. Okay, so we put out a mouse trap yesterday, and we cut one. And then, so we put out another one, and Jod said it's gone. Yeah. So what do you think? What could, what could be this I don't know. So, could be that somebody is ran away with that, like it's a. It's got trapped with the tail, and it just ran away. It's a ran away mouse trap. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some investigations, I guess. <laughs> I don't wanna go with you. <laughs> it was lingering around somewhere in the garage. <laughs> 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 We are getting ready for the day and we're starting out with a big breakfast because we have so many plans what we want to get done today. Taking out the compost and preparing breakfast, reset the kitchen, cleaning out the sink. <laughs> A quick reset here and there in the house just to start out on a better terms <laughs> how it looks like and how we feel about our home and then the kids will start to learn and then later Joat is going to take them because he's gonna go to a sawmill place and uh, since we homeschool that's a great opportunity to show them around and show them all those machines so it's kind of like a field trip that is gonna be for them One of my favorite plant is the jade one and some reason I can't keep them alive and I don't overwater them so it shouldn't be an issue maybe the light they don't get enough light I don't know I keep trying Usually in the mornings when I'm preparing the breakfast, that's when I like to make the lunch. Now I got a little bit behind, but I really wanted to fix something for the boys and for myself because I like to eat different breakfast and I'm lately into this stir fries, all veggies and some meat in there. I love to have this as a breakfast, but also I wanted to get done and make some lunch for them since they were going away from home for a couple of hours so I want to pack some food for them just in case you know if they're gonna be there for a longer time make sure they have something to eat and I also I put up some chicken soup that can just be cooked I don't have to do a lot of things with that and to pack some lunch I'm going to prepare a very quick raw veggies I'm going to put some salt on it and crush them a little bit so it's gonna be more flavorful and then it's going to be easier to digest but uh, this is something I like to do when I don't want to cook a lot and it's still healthy and most importantly my boys are eating this <laughs>
for some laundry so I want to get this out of the way and then I can do something more fun It's a rare treat when this house goes quiet so I want to do some art I haven't done this for a while because all the renovation and just all the things are going on but today I'm going to designate this few hours of quiet for painting Since I'm working with watercolor and it needs to dry so I kind of working in layers I have multiple projects that I like to work on so I'm starting sometimes new ones and I'm just adding details to the old ones and that is actually my favorite part the painting I just want to get it out of the way so I have a base where I can add all those cute details with the flowers and stars and you name it I painted <laughs> color where I feel home the most <laughs> that is my favorite medium but I also like to try and use different things to add on the top of the watercolor so I can have more fun with that there are many things that I'm interested in and even more even further I like to rotate those hobbies and it's just really helping to reduce the stress and anxiety because when you do a hobby you focusing on something that you really like to do it can be coloring I mean there are no rules it's art so you can do whatever medium you want and then as you focus it helps to easy up all the worries so this is one of the things that I love to do because it's very soothing for my brain when I overthink things <laughs> Spring 
spring is right here on the corner so I'm already thinking on the seeds how we going to plant things this year I want to plant more flowers because I have so many projects like the soap making and the rest <laughs> Okay, so now we are back to the project that we started yesterday, which is organizing the garage. We have a few items that we want to drop off at the donation center. The boys are bringing in some firewood. We are cleaning up and wrapping up this project. So back to this pizza recipe that I was talking about in the previous video. Now I measured that out for you guys and probably I'm going to put this on the website too so you guys are going to have an easier time to locate that. But this is something I've been working for a while and I used to use different uh, ingredients and even the texture I changed since it's gluten free uh, I had to do a different method. and basically the bread maker was the aha moment to me because when the bread maker was uh, working on the bread it was way softer than when we do it by hand so I just figured if I use some ghee and <laughs> spoon I can spread it out that uh, texture that I achieved and that led to a very fluffy nice um, gooey in the middle also it's how it's supposed to be <laughs> with the pizza I think this is the closest I, I was able to get with this gluten-free recipe and for the paste that I put on I will have that sauce recipe done below as well and I bake it a little bit the dough and when it's almost done that's when I put uh, the topping on it so that way the, the pepperoni doesn't get burned and then everything will be sure that it's well baked and so far hands down this is our ultimate favorite this recipe and it's very easy to make uh, my only suggestion is that i used my mixer so i didn't try it mix it with hand or by hand but this mixer does a good job to fluff up um, if i use some eggs in there or whatever dough i'm working on it's really helping the gluten free dough to fluff it up So while the other pizza is baking in the oven, so this one I'm going to put it back so I have all the toppings on it and it's already looking really nice. And so I'm going to pop it back just to have the things you know melt a little bit on the top and it's gonna be perfect. Signs, I know you guys were waiting for this pizza recipe, so I just measured out, but I haven't made by the recipe, so I, I need to do more trials. So maybe they are gonna be there's gonna be a more fine adjusting to the recipe, maybe not. I don't know. I just measured as I was making it, but I want to be sure, so I like to follow my recipe and bake a few just in case to see if it's all working out. I just wanted to tell you that. Thank you 
so much for watching until the end i really appreciate you guys so much i cannot even put it into words if you enjoy this content don't forget to share like and subscribe and see you guys soon in the next one bye